Hey guys, I'm making this really quick video just to help you out with a new Mac OS. Now, if you don't see your newest Mac OS right here in your system preferences as an update, so let me just go into software update. Now, let's say you guys don't see this. It's not popping up for you. There's nothing here to update. Right now, as you guys can see, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can actually take a look. I could update from here. However, if I don't see it for any reason, there's another way to get to this. So the first one uh, would be just launch up Safari right now. And then we're just going to go into this website. And then from here, just click on view in Mac App Store. Once we click there, it's just going to open up their App Store. And it's going to go right here where we can just press on get. Yes, this is a free upgrade. Now, let's say this website doesn't work, which is Apple's official website, by the way. I'm going to put that link in the description of this video. You could just go to the App Store. So on the top left hand side of my screen, I'm going to see the Apple logo. Just go into this option here, the third option, App Store. In the App Store, the update itself, you will not see it here because this is usually just for apps. What you do need to do is search. So on the top left hand side, just type in Monterey. As long as you type that in, you're going to see these results. And the first one on the left hand side should say Mac OS Monterey. We can just be white. And then from here, click on get. So once we do that, this is actually going to go ahead and download it. Now, this is 12 gigs, so make sure you have at least 16 gigs. And also, before you do any updates, make sure to save all your information. So what I suggest doing is backing it up using Time Machine. And that's because Time Machine is already built into your Mac. So I'm going to go into System Preferences. Again, to get into System Preferences, just go to your Apple logo left-hand side. Choose your second option, System Preferences. From there, you're going to see this. So as mentioned, you would see Time Machine right here in the System Preferences. Just click on it. Now, to order to set this up, I do have a separate video that shows you how to do that with an external hard drive. That's the proper way to do this. And what Time Machine does is backing up your entire Mac, including the Mac OS. So let's say you guys updated your Mac and all of a sudden you see that all your apps or maybe your most important app is not compatible. It's not going to work you can always go back into the Mac OS that you're running right now using Time Machine. And that's very easy. I have a video on that as well. And that's why I like Time Machine because it backs up everything your Mac, including the Mac OS, your apps, and all your files, which does include photos. So right now what I'm going to do is just go on the top. I'm going to click on Backup Now. And we're going to make a backup of my Mac before we go on and install this update. Now, as mentioned, we can install this update right here from the App Store. We can go also to System Preferences. So here's System Preferences. Let me just go back on it. I'm going to see Update Software. And right here, I should also see that I have the option to upgrade. So I've got both options. All right, so once we're done with the backup, my backup's officially done, I'm just going to press on Get. So it's at the top left-hand side. Just press on Get. Once you do that, it's actually going to take you back into System Preferences. However, in this case, it's going to kind of reload it. So if it didn't work before, right now it should give you a message like so. So at this point, what you want to do is click on download. So that's what we're going to click right now. So make sure your Mac has at least 50% of battery. Even if it does, make sure to have it hooked up some electricity. So that is if you're running a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, whichever, just hook it up. That's the only way, the safest way to actually make any updates happen. Now, if you guys are running a Mac Mini or an iMac, a Mac Pro, you don't really have to worry about those things. Just make sure it doesn't shut down on you. Now, is it a big deal if your Mac shuts down during the downloading process? No, not at all. You can always re-download this thing. However, if it gets stuck during the installation process or if it shuts down during the installation process, that's a problem. And that's why we made that time machine backup because we can only just go back in time and just load everything back in and then try again if we want to or just leave it in the current Mac OS that you're running right now. I would only update once I see that the apps that I currently use are fully compatible with the newest Mac OS. There's actually a lot of software developers out there that take a long time to update their software. One of them, for example, is Canon. If you guys have a Canon camera, they take months and months <laughs> whenever there's an update for Mac. So I would actually not recommend doing this update if any of your apps will not work. So make sure they are fully working and then go ahead and run this update. At this point in time, we could just leave your Mac. Just let, let it be. Let it be. You're just going to see later on Apple logo loading bar. It's going to restart and then you're going to be done. The downloading process, you could make this faster. It's about 12 gigs. However, 
for most of you. If your internet speed is medium to high speed, yes, this should take about 20 minutes, maybe 40 if it's going kind of slow like me at the moment, just because I'm up uploading and downloading other videos on the side. However, if you want this to go a lot faster, just hook up your Mac directly to your router using an ethernet cable and that will solve any issues. I also do want to mention that you do have a video that shows you how to reset your Apple ID password. And uh, some people are watching this, I know, because they're afraid of their Apple ID. Now, if you don't know the password, you forgot it, you can reset it very, very easily. Again, I have a video about that. And it's very, very important that you guys have your password. That's because if you ever, ever lose your Mac or anything happens to your Mac with your Apple ID, you can lock it up or you can retrieve at least some data, depending how you have your backups made. Once it has downloaded, we're going to see this Mac OS. We can just continue on. We're going to have to agree to this. I agree one more time and then just select our disk. Well, in this case, it's just this one, which is fine. We're going to continue on unlock. If you guys have a passcode, you would have to put it in there. And there you go. Just let your Mac be. It's going to do its thing. As mentioned, you would see an Apple logo and a loading bar. After that, that's it. Just about 10, 15 minutes. You should be done. If you're stuck in this for two hours, that might be a little too long. However, it does depend how old your Mac is and how full of storage it is. Something that you might notice that you might have to put in a few passwords. But other than that, you should be done right now. So if I go right into my Apple logo, under system preferences, I can go into software update and I can check if I'm all up to date. So right now I can see that in fact I am all up to date. This is Monterey Mac OS and that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.